What's... Guys, so it is like 6.45 right now. I was supposed to wake up for like another hour, but uh, <laughs> we have a new roommate and he just like came into my room because he doesn't have a bed yet and he just came into my room and he just like flopped on my bed, so. Dude, I don't remember this at all. Like, I'm shook. I remember waking up in your bed, that's it. And I was like, yo, what? Uh, I don't know if that's the best way to... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way of describing it, but that's, I mean, hey, that's... You, you, you walked in, opened my window, pissed out of it, <laughs> and then flopped on. And I was like, I was like, dude, like, what are you, what are you doing? You're like, sleep. That's all you said. We should mention in there that I have a sleepwalking problem, so nobody thinks I'm like... Oh, You'd be yeah. like, that's why we have to keep the pool covered at night. Yeah. No, seriously, just tell them, I, I mean, like... I have a sleepwalking. It's going right now. Oh, yeah, no, like I have a sleepwalking problem. So that's kind of the thing. I've always ne never really wanted to have roommates because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> like I, I pissed out his window and then like just hopped in his bed, which is kind of weird. And this is like everyone's first impression on me. Don't think I'm a weirdo, bro. Like I swear I'm, I'm a calm, normal guy. One thing I messed up on in episode one when weighing myself and everyone pointed it out. It said that I was a female, and obviously that totally messed with my stats. I'm gonna check my body fat percentage now. Yeah, five, nine, and a half. That's a stretch, I'll keep that though. And yeah, I'm 19. Oh, 170 exactly. Stats, way different now. 12.8% body fat. So, oh, 50% muscle as well, all right. I think I'm a little higher than that, but seems pretty accurate. All right, so it's been like eight hours since I last vlogged. And uh, dude, we haven't eaten yet. It's like 3 p.m. Is it, is it, what time is it? No. Oh yeah, it is, it's like three, so. We need to eat. Yeah. I think the move is pancakes and sausage. Dylan? Dylan's on creatine? Me. And you're on Tren? Yeah, dude. Exposed. All right, so right now the move is what? Sausage and pancakes? Oh yeah. So should I get the Bisquick original? Or Miss Butterworth's? Leave it down in the What's comments. What's it gonna be? It's up to you. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Butterworths? I think so too. <laughs> door, door of the Explorer. <laughs> Do we need more than this? Yes. I think it's so. All right, so here's the plan. We are back from the store. First, we gotta cook up those pancakes, eggs, bacon, butter, everything. We're gonna have a big meal. Still gonna stay on track with my macros though. Still shooting for 2,500 calories. No more, no less. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to keep consistent calories for probably a, like a week or two, see how my body responds. I definitely think I could still be eating more because of how little I was eating. Now that I've increased my calories, my body is actually adapting pretty fast, which is awesome. So after that, we are shooting some Legend London. As you guys see, they sent me a new crew neck. I'm wearing their jeans, so we're gonna shoot a little bit right here uh, off the pool and then uh, do a few more things as well. After we do that, I think we're gonna work out. And so in terms of training, yesterday I was actually doing some hanging, literally just hanging, like no pull-ups or anything. I watched this Joe Rogan podcast, I'll link it down below. Basically, they were talking about this surgeon that does, that stopped doing like 90% of his surgeries and he basically said that the shoulder, all like 90% of those shoulder injuries could be cured just by hanging, like for, I don't know, like a few minutes every single day. And so I've just been doing it. It's definitely been like loosening everything up. But as I would come down from hanging for so long, obviously it takes a lot of grip strength to do that. Literally only my left arm would just be like, it would just be fully pumped and there would just be, I don't know, it would just feel like my right arm didn't even work. It wasn't even vascular at all. Left side was super vascular. I have a video, I'll pop it up here. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. The reason I keep talking about this stuff and my like problems and everything is obviously one, that's what I'm going through with my life. This is a vlog and two, Hopefully there's someone out there that views this that maybe has had a similar problem. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty just like, I'm just kind of desperate right now. If you guys have had any of the experiences I've talked about in you know my first video explaining my injury or now with my arm and stuff, let me know for sure. Oh, also, as you guys can see, I got a haircut and no, I did not go to super cuts like some other fitness YouTubers out there because you just you just don't do that, dude. You go to super cuts? What super cuts? Exactly. You don't get a super. Exactly. Don't be Dylan McKenna. Ah! <laughs> it's not cooking fast enough. <laughs> All right, so finished product. Got a bunch of sausages. 
Got the two pancakes there, and uh, I'm probably gonna have about 30 grams worth. Yeah, I'm just gonna have enough to it matches up to about 30 grams of protein, because this is my first meal of the day. Each link is five grams of protein. Each link's five grams? No, I have no idea. Oh, okay, that would be f amazing, but. Yeah. So, it's been a few hours since. I do this all the time. I, I just talk to my phone and I record myself. It's kind of like just, I don't know, just videos for myself. It's kind of like, you know, doing a diary log, but maybe I'll just share this one on my vlog. I was f definitely considering just not going to the gym today. I felt terrible, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. I think, I definitely think my whole appetite problem stems from something a lot deeper, which is messed up. I literally only had those nine sausages today. I didn't have pancakes because I couldn't exactly track those. Um, I don't know. It's just like, just what I said in, in one of the past clips that you guys probably just saw about me talking about like how I just don't, just don't know what's going on in my body. Like obviously, like I've said, so this is why I don't post a lot of the stuff because it's about me and my injury because no one like, everyone's heard me talk, you know, bitch and moan about my injury and stuff. I have so many goals and my number one goal is obviously to be the healthiest and most functional that I can be. I want to do like whatever I can to like, you know, I want to do whatever I can to like to help my to help my body obviously and I still just don't know. I don't know. Like in my mind I'm like fuck, I just wish there was like some person that like I could just go to and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, we know exactly what's going on." Here you go. Obviously life's not like that with pretty much 90% of things you just got to figure it out. So that's what I'm doing kind of this is kind of just like just this is how I feel right now This is how it is. I'm still gonna hit the gym You know, obviously it's gotten to the point where I can like, you know, persevere through it and just be like yo, dude Like if you're just gonna sit at home and not do anything It's not gonna happen. It's all on you. You know, so you guys know what I was just talking about all my problems and stuff my like, you know my diary stuff here with my Dad, obviously we always have great conversations and everything. This is like real, this is kind of raw, but we're just talking about- It's about focusing on what you, your goals, your life, and know that the right and perfect people will show up. It's not about judging other people. It's not about talking about other people. It's about letting all that go and bringing all the energy and all the focus to what's important to you and what you want to do in your life. Focus, take the action and keep moving forward and the right people will come in your life that yep. are like-minded just like you. So forget about everybody, guys. Focus on what's important to you. Keep moving forward. Lo and behold, who's gonna show up? Other people just like you. No matter how much potential you see in other people around you. They're not about it, they're not living it. You just gotta, just exactly what you said, you gotta put the energy in yourself and the right, the right people, people will come in your way. In the law of attraction, baby. The law of attraction. All right, I'm here. I don't know, I kind of feel like a weak ass, kind of felt really vulnerable sharing all that comment or whatever I shared with you guys just now. Yeah, I'm here, not gonna vlog my workout tonight, but yo, we're working out tomorrow with Blake. It's gonna be a good sesh. Uh, I'm just gonna focus here tonight. Go to bed, wake up early. I think Blake's waking up pretty early as well tomorrow too. He said we're doing a full content day, which makes me feel really happy that someone's on the same page as me. And uh, yeah, so I'll check on you guys tomorrow. This workout is gonna be an iPhone vlog. Uh, as you guys just saw, we went to McDonald's, which is a place that I, I, I just never go to. We were we were just at a spot. McDonald's was conveniently nearby. Yeah, we were at a spot. What spot were we at? It was a good spot. Um, d d no one can decipher that, right? Right. Yeah, no, you guys can't decipher that. But yeah, all right, so all I got was a uh, large fry. They're super, super, super salty, and I haven't had much food today yet. So um, that's really gonna help with the pump, and I don't even know what I'm training, but it's gonna be upper body. You doing upper body too, brother? Yeah. All right, brother. All right, so it's 12.08 right now. You guys are about to see the most effective 30-minute back and bicep workout that I've ever done. Let's go. Oh. Thank you. Since we're only doing like a 30 minute workout, we gotta focus on doing supersets, high intensity, minute and a half max for rest time. This is the first superset.
starting with unilateral, un, un, unilateral pull downs, and then we're gonna move on to some unilateral cable rows as well. I'm doing a lot of single arm stuff just because you guys know I'm not very balanced right now. Right now, this is probably my favorite exercise. The reason is I just get the best connection with my lats with this, regardless of my injuries. So. I'm pretty good. <laughs> you guys take your time with every single exercise that you guys are seeing right now, and you really, really focus on the contraction with the unilateral movements. It's gonna be an amazing workout. The mind to muscle connection is gonna be amazing, and the pump is gonna be great. Those McDonald's fries right now are actually really, really helping out because like I said, I have not had much food today. And Blake actually said I smell like ammonia, which is bad. It means I'm burning muscle, basically, so. I don't know, it's, I mean, it smells like I'm burning muscle, but I'm still gaining muscle and staying lean. What's going on? My third superset, this is the last superset and the final, the final two exercises of the workout. I was gonna throw in biceps, but it's like 122 right now. We gotta go home, we gotta eat, and we gotta sleep, and then I gotta edit this video tomorrow morning and get it up in time, So I'm trying to stay consistent with this So. I don't know where I came from.